Hey guys, what's up? My name is Shay. Welcome to my channel. And for today's video, I thought it would be a good time to have a conversation, to have a talk, because I know a lot of people have been wondering when things are gonna open back up, when things are gonna get back to normal. And I just, I just kind of thought it would be good because I, I know, I know a lot of people that love going to Disney just as much as I do. And when Disney closed, it was a big shock to the, the entire world, even people who aren't fans of Disney or they don't go to the parks all that often. It was a big shock. So, so I just thought it would be a good time to kind of have that talk, go over you know things that Disney has released um, statement-wise about when they're gonna open, what it's gonna look like when the parks do open, and just kind of what it'll be like in general um, when things do kind of start to go back to normal. So with that, we are just gonna jump right in. Alrighty guys, so right around the middle of March, both Disneyland and Disney World ended up closing because of the whole coronavirus impact. And as of today, when I am actually filming this, the parks are still closed. So there is no definitive date as to when the parks are gonna open again, but there are a lot of rumors and there's a lot of talk about when that's gonna happen. Um, so let's jump into that part right now. So here in Florida, the governor just announced a couple days ago that the state of Florida will slowly start to reopen starting on May 4th. And in that time, that's going to be like the phase one reopening. So a lot of like retail places and restaurants and shopping centers and like smaller businesses can start to open back up with limitations. So a lot of them can be 50% capacity. Everyone's still staying six feet apart, wearing face masks, gloves, etc. So a lot of places are able to open back up, but with just a lot of limitations. During that time, there was no specific talk about Disney in general. So with the governor talking about the state of Florida starting to reopen on the 4th, there have been a lot more, uh, there have been a lot of talks about the parks getting closer to opening as well. So if you actually look on My Disney Experience, which is like the Disney World and Disneyland apps that you can download to like get fast passes, make reservations, everything like that. If you check on that app, you'll actually see that you can actually start making reservations starting June 1st. Now, this isn't a definitive time that you'll actually be able to go to the parks and hang out and stay and go to the resorts, eat everything like that, but they are allowing you to make reservations starting June 1st. Now, if you make the reservation and Disney decides we're gonna stay closed through July, and let's say you made your reservation in June, those fees that you typically would have, those cancellation fees are not going to be charged to your card. Disney's automatically gonna cancel any reservations. So Disney will cancel your dining reservations, fast passes, and even resort reservations without charge, which is actually super nice, it's super helpful. I would still recommend calling the Disney hotline just to make sure and just to be safe about it. Alrighty, so another one of the big things that people have been talking about is actually what's gonna happen once the parks do open back up. So because Disney is so popular, thousands and thousands of people go to the parks every single year. That is a big thing for Disney and that's probably one of the biggest reasons why they haven't actually come out with a date as to when they're gonna open. But they know the parks are gonna be very, very busy and they know that everyone's gonna want to go back to the happiest place on earth. So the governor has been talking about different mandates that's gonna be happening and a three phase system that's gonna be put into place here in Florida. So for Disney specifically, starting at phase one, it's gonna be a 50% capacity opening. So it'll probably only be allowing so many people right when the park opens they're only going to allow so many guests in at a time and then once phase two hits then it'll open up to 75 percent capacity there will also most likely be touchless hand sanitizer stations as well as portable hand washing stations like they had 
um, before the parks close. The turnstiles, attraction entries, and exits will most likely also be sanitized multiple times throughout the day by cast members, as well as the rides itself. So rides, um, rides like Big Thunder Mountain or Space Mountain, or even like Peter Pan, or anything like that, they will most likely be san sanitizing them throughout the day as guests are getting on or off the rides. Also, if you look on the Disney World website, you'll see all of the different tabs talking about each item individually. So theme parks and water parks, parks, tickets, annual passes, resorts, dining, everything like that. There are specific talks about each one and what is gonna be happening. So with theme parks specifically, those are closed until further notice. The same goes for all resorts and Disney Springs. Transportation as well will be halted until further notice. Even experiences like ESPN and uh, the, mini the miniature golf courses, those will also be closed until further notice. So there's actually one location on all of Disney property that is still up and running to this day, and that is actually the golf and foot golf location near the Grand Floridian Resort. So you can actually pay for your holes and everything like that beforehand on the website and then you can go and you can actually still play golf. Another thing regarding tickets is that if you have any multi-day use tickets that start from March 12th throughout the entire time of the Disney closure, those will be extended throughout December 15th of this year. So if you bought a four-day multi-use ticket for May and you obviously can't use it because the parks are still closed, those will be extended throughout December so you can still come back and you can still use those tickets. Okay, so this next one, I'm actually gonna read it because it is fairly long, but this is regarding uh, guests who have previously booked plans through May 31st. Actually have a couple options regarding what you can do with your vacation. So I have my iPad here. I'm gonna uh, read this statement off to you that is on the Disney website. It says, eligible guests can take advantage of a vacation package offer that includes accommodations at a select Disney Resort hotel, park admission, and a Disney dining plan. Valid for arrivals most nights June 1st through September 30th of this year, when you book through May 31st, 2020. This offer is valid only for guests who previously booked a vacation package or room reservation to stay at a Disney Resort hotel at Walt Disney World Resort for travel dates March 16th to May 31st, 2020. Ready? So the biggest thing that every Disney lover is talking about is what's gonna happen with their annual passes. I know I have been struggling with it. I had to renew mine. I still wasn't sure, but I went ahead and I did it anyways. So if you have an annual pass and when you bought it, you ended up paying in full, you have a couple options regarding what you can do. So no matter what, all annual passes are gonna be extended the number of days that the parks were closed. Okay, so if your annual pass expired, like March 31st, and then the park was closed for three months, your annual pass will be extended those three months automatically. It's not gonna show up on My Disney Experience right now, but it'll show up once the parks actually do open back up. So again, the pass holders that paid in full have the option to actually get a partial refund for their annual pass. If you bought your annual pass in February for the first time and then the parks closed, you can actually get a partial refund for that time that you won't be in the parks. Alrighty, and so for the pass holders that have done the monthly option, that is actually gonna be a little bit different. So for the pass holders that have done the monthly payments, Disney has actually been waiving all of your monthly payments as of now. So when the parks open back up, you will begin to get those monthly payments again. But as of right now, you are not being charged for it. As well, if you had any monthly payments between March 14th and April 4th, that money will actually be refunded to you as well. Alrighty, so if you're one of the people like me who has the annual pass, expire during our time of closure, this is gonna be the information you want to hear. So all annual passes that expire during this time that Disney is closed, they are going to expire unless you renew them. So don't think that you can let your pass expire during this time, okay? So there's a couple of reasons why you should renew your pass. Obviously you wanna get that extended time but also if you renew your pass, you're actually gonna get a 15% discount off of that price. But also the pass expiration dates are not gonna be extended right now, okay? So if your pass expires 
any time in between this closure and you don't renew it, you do have a grace period to renew your pass. But if you pass that grace period or you just don't extend it all, you won't get that extended time. And so also if you do choose that monthly pass option, you can actually call the Disney hotline and you can have them postpone your payments. So you're not gonna be charged throughout the closure right now. And I know when I called to do mine, they had said that they were automatically doing it for all guests, um, but I would still, I would still recommend calling just to make sure because you don't wanna be charged for something like when you obviously can't use it. So again, it's still unclear when the parks are actually going to open, but there are the other parks around the world that are either slowly starting to reopen or they still don't know when they're actually gonna open back up. So I'm actually gonna go into that a little bit right now. Like I said, we're not really sure when things are gonna be opening in the Orlando area for Disney itself and even in California as well. But there are other parks like Disneyland Paris, Hong Kong, Tokyo, and Shanghai that are all either already having dates of when they're gonna open or they're already slowly starting to open or they just don't even know. So starting off with Tokyo Disney, the Japanese prime minister actually made a, made a statement saying that they would start reopening things around May 6th. But for Disney itself, so Tokyo Disney and Disney Sea, that's gonna start to open around mid-May. Next one is Disneyland Paris. This one actually is closed until further notice. So the French prime minister actually announced that they're hoping to see stores and schools open on May 11th, the beaches on June 1st. Any event over 5,000 people is actually against the law in France right now because France was one of the countries that was hit hardest over this whole pandemic. So Disneyland Paris really isn't even gonna see an opening until probably around October, maybe November. So next we're moving on to Shanghai Disneyland. This park is actually slowly reopening as we speak. So a lot of the restaurants in Disney Town are starting to open. So guests who do show up have to show a green QR code saying that they are in good health, they have to constantly wear face masks, and they still have to maintain that distance apart. Right, and the final one is gonna be Hong Kong Disneyland. This park itself does not have a date as to when it's gonna actually open. So a lot of the main guidelines that have been discussed are that people have to carry and use hand sanitizer, wear gloves, face masks, and maintain five feet. So even though Hong Kong Disneyland Park is still closed, Disney's Inspiration Lake Recreation Center is still open to the public. So from what has been talked about and from what has been running around the Disney gossip universe um, is that when the parks do open, they are only gonna be opening, up, opening them to state guests at first. And then once they move to phase two, it'll move to national guests. And then once they move to phase three, it'll be international guests. So no one knows how long those phases will even last once the parks do open. But from my, from my own personal opinion, and I'm not speaking for Disney on any of this, um, on any of these matters, um, I would see this, I would see each phase going for some time. When the parks do open, I will say it's not gonna be all four parks. Um, most likely they will open Magic Kingdom first. And from there, they'll probably open up Hollywood Studios or Animal Kingdom. But from what I can tell, like the ICPs, the ones who work in Epcot, um, they were all sent home. So it's gonna be a very, weird time to live in to say the least um but most likely they will open the parks in stages so again they'll open up magic kingdom first because that's the home park um then they'll probably end up opening uh like hollywood studios or animal kingdom and then the last one to open will be epcot i don't know what it will look like and given none of us really do um, I don't even think Bob Iger knows what's going to happen. Um, I don't even think Josh Damro knows, Bob Chapek. I don't think any of them know what this is going to look like right now. I believe that Bob Iger and even Josh Damro, Bob Chapek, I think they are all going to do what is right and what is best for Disney 
and for the cast members and for all of the guests. Bob Iger has not let me down yet, so um, I don't think he's going to anytime soon. When the parks open, it's gonna be the right time. So whether that be two weeks from now or six months from now, no one really knows, but I think when Disney makes that decision to open up, it's gonna be the right one. So I am gonna end this video here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you want me to talk about more stuff like this with Disney reopening, make sure to leave it down in the comments. I want you to tell me um, what your thoughts are on Disney reopening. I want you to tell me, you know, when you think it would be the appropriate time for Disney to reopen because I know we're all kind of back and forth but I want to know your guys' opinions. So make sure to leave a comment down below and tell me that. And then also while you are down there, go ahead and click the big red subscribe button as well because we're all Disney loving friends here. We all want to share the magic and we all want to go back to the parks very, very soon. So I'm going to end this video here and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.